So this is going to be a review of the Bobcat S750 Skidster Loader um, model in 150th scale. This is truly a really awesome little model. Um, just kind of give you a quick 360 of it right here. It's a um, it's a great little model. The detail on it is awesome for the price and the size. You really cannot complain about it at all. Um, overall, it has a lot of good functions. Um, it rolls well, um, and the boom has a very good range of movement on it. You've got a full range of movement and then the bucket. Um, unfortunately, that is as far as it will uncurl. Um, however, it will sit flush on the ground, which is um, I find to be slightly more important than it um, uncurling completely. Um, I mean, function-wise, that's going to be about all. However, um, for it being as small of a model as it is, compared to its um, precursor, which is the S175. It looks um, considerably better. Um, now, granted, there are differences between the two models. However, the detail on the S750 is just considerably better. Um, you can see this is the full range of movement in this bucket here, along with the, uh, the boom design and just the overall... Um, range of movement between the two. So now I will show the um, loading capacities of it with two different trucks. First one is the CT660, the CAT CT660. And with this model you barely, it just barely does not um, hit it. It basically hits it at the, uh, the hinge pin right there. Unfortunately, uh, if the model didn't have the uh, the red boards on it, it would uh, it would load it perfectly fine. Um, so it just barely misses it, unfortunately. However, with the if you have an Oshkosh truck, uh, the uh, the snowplow trucks, I I take the plows off mine and just use them as dump truck. You have pl you have a perfect amount of clearance. You actually have just a just enough space. To, uh, to clear that and uh, you know then dump into it. Um, if I was doing a stop motion, definitely not what I would use to try to actually portray a full load in the truck. However, you can um, you can model that reasonably well with that. Um, size wise, some quick comparisons. I'll show it up against the CT660 again. I'll also show it um, onto the first gear tag trailer. It makes a real nice load. Um, for this. And it also it fits um, appropriately onto the tag trailer. With its counterpart the E35. Mini excavator. It makes a great trailer load, perfect size. They, I mean, it's almost like they designed them to go with this uh, trailer. And uh, that's pretty nice right there. So it makes a great trailer load. Um, and let me show you the packaging real fast. Um, it just comes in not really like a blister pack, but just a um, cardboard backing plastic um, case in a two-part um, plastic in there. Um I just cut mine open to get it out. Um, it shows a picture of the machine up here. And it is 150 scale. And on the back, I like the back. Um, if you want to pause it here and read it, I believe that's in focus pretty well there. Um, you can read it. It says it um, 85 horsepower. It does give some specifications to the actual machine. Link to the Bobcat um, store website. If you're going to order this model, this is the place to order it from. They have the best price on there. And 
Um, pretty reasonable shipping. I bought mine at Con Expo 2014. Paid um, actually less than $6.25 on it. Um, with a, a special they were running at Con Expo. If you traded in a competitor's hat, you not only got a Bobcat branded hat, um, you also got 10% off their store. So I uh, you took advantage of that and purchased a, a few Bobcat models along with the Dusan model. Um, so that's going to be about it for this review. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's a, uh, it's a great little model. For the price, you cannot go wrong with it. Um, so I highly recommend picking it up. Um, it's just a great little add-on to almost anything. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm um, going to be a review of the E35 up shortly, and I'll uh, put a link to that in the description. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.